Charles River has a, a mission. Together we create healthier lives. We're about the patients that we serve here. And the way that we serve our patients is to serve our clients. At Charles River, we have multiple approaches that we take to meet the evolving needs of our cell and gene therapy clients and to evolve what the market needs. One of those approaches is by new builds and facility expansions. We've added nine clean rooms to provide our clients that have high throughput, late stage, or commercial programs with a better fit for their needs. In my role, was to lead and facilitate the conceptual requirements for this new cell therapy manufacturing site and define also the schedule, the budget, the cost overall for the project. AES and PTSI have a long-standing relationship of executing projects. PTSI brings the skill set to supplement the client's capabilities internally and allow the client to really stay focused on their business and allow PTSI to orchestrate the entire team to execute on the projects. So at AES, we follow the conceptual design process of define, design, and deliver. So essentially what that means is we start with the end in mind. We need to clearly define what the regulatory strategy is, and that's based around what is the therapy that's going to be made inside this facility. Once that's clearly defined, then the design cascades from there. AES focused on bringing their subject matter expertise to the clean room design while collaborating with a multidiscipline team from Barry Waymiller Design Group. The nine production suites were designed and configured inside of an existing building shell. Charles River Labs continued with production while demolition and construction continued. When an existing operation is producing product in the same building where we will be constructing, it's very critical for us to minimize the impact on those ongoing operations so clean construction is one of the tools that we use to minimize the disruption on the existing facility. And it's through our modular architectural systems being deployed into the facility where we can execute the project in an invisible way. The key success to any project is having a strong team. Partnering with design group that both did the design and build helped us as a group overall we're able to work through all the challenges, supply chain concerns, cost concerns, schedule concerns, and hit the budget. Charles River Laboratories is in the business of contract development and manufacturing. The capital that they're bringing to bear for their projects ultimately is being sourced by their customers. Being able to deliver on budget and on schedule is critical for everybody that's involved in these key operational initiatives. So because this facility will serve clients, that are manufacturing product all over the world, the facility needed to be designed to meet all of the international regulatory expectations. That being FDA for the United States, EMA in the European environment, as well as other World Health Organizations, so that this facility is not limited in its ability to serve the global marketplace. A lot of our clients that started out with us earlier in their programs are progressing to late phase or commercial stages and they are gonna benefit directly from the facility expansion. So it's really a great feeling to continue to be a trusted partner for those that we started out with when they were earlier in their clinical trial programs. This project to expand our manufacturing capacity here at Memphis uh, could not have been possible without the AES crew. Uh, they really helped us arrive at the best possible solution for our needs, and that meant uh, flexible space, that meant space that could accommodate both large and small clients, and that meant them being able to work with us through the project, uh, allowing us to make changes when we saw we needed to make changes. Because we're involved very early on with the project through our Compass conceptual design efforts, we actually build the facility on paper. We analyze the way that people and materials and waste flow in and out of the facility so that we can be sure that when the facility is inspected by the regulatory agencies, that it meets the requirements. This is an intricate design in an existing building space. The AES and Barry Waymiller Design Group Architectural Engineering Design Team collaborated to build a three-dimensional building information model. This 3D model was the key focal point for collaboration throughout the design process. The BIM model was critical in helping us to build the building before we actually built the facility. In every project, you're gonna discover things about the building that no one knows about until you get in and start construction. We realized that there were some systems that needed to be upgraded to be able to accommodate the building that we were trying to construct within the clean room. So we were able to adapt and our modular system and our modular design methodology really allowed us to change on the fly 
because it's a multiple identical templated suite design, we have individual HVAC systems for each suite and each one of those is isolated from one another, they act as a completely independent facilities within the facility. The challenge we have today is that manufacturing facilities are designed to be up 24-7. If you have to shut that down, it impact the manufacturing of our products for our clients. The cove finishes around the corners and the edges, the nice clean PVC finish on the front is cleanable sanitation wise, you know, the epoxy flooring. That whole process is just a lot cleaner. It's more operational uptime, just less, less maintenance overall. Our Faciliflex project methodology is a true design build strategy, whereby we as the single source entity take complete control of the entire process of engineering, installation, and commissioning, all focused on guaranteeing the performance of the clean room facility which is not just the architectural fit and finish, but also control of the environmental performance of the space for temperature, humidity, cleanliness, pressurization, and even containment, which is very important for a multi-product manufacturing facility like Charles River. With the proper international standards, with the proper airlocks in and out, full segregation, air handling support, it has become a very efficient facility. The facility here in Memphis will drive down patient wait times for treatment and drive down cost. Bring the promise of that commercialization to the industry and to a global patient population. Speed to market is extremely important for our clients, which makes it important to us as well. Our clean rooms that we expanded in the project with AES have allowed us to offer a substantial throughput increase. Uh, we're allowed to take on now programs that have a much higher batch capacity they allow a higher production rate so that they can process a clinical trial faster. Our client engages us to produce a facility that works. Not just looks good, but also works and maintains environmental conditions at all times under all circumstances so that the client can remain focused on their mission, which is producing product repeatedly and safely so that they can treat patients. Care, that's one of our core values here at Charles River is to care. If I had to make a suggestion of a sponsor out there looking for a, the right CDMO partner, it's find one that cares about your program as much as you do.